Okay, I don't think you are interested in playing Mafia 2 in slow motion, so we gotta move on. So, let's see how it runs at 800 by 600. As you can see, it runs better than in native resolution, as to be expected. Sure it's not the best thing ever, especially coming from a 2010 game, but I think that this is actually playable enough, and I'm honestly sure anyone who plays games on a laptop with Intel Celeron will agree with me on that one. However there's one thing that I have to mention, during the first few minutes after the game loads, you will face some quite noticeable stuttering issues, which can be irritating for some people. Eventually though, after 5 minutes or so, the game will actually start to run smoother like it does right now, so that's a thing you will have to keep in mind if you want to play Mafia 2 on your laptop with Intel, Celeron N2840 or similar. And I don't know, this game is quite weird when it comes out to its optimizations, like, I've seen some forum posts of people having performance issues in Mafia 2 even on a high-end PC. I want to do a drifting maneuver here. Well, it could be worse I guess. Hey, uh, you in the market for some surplus gas stamps? Sure. Where'd you get them? Uh, in second thought, I don't even want to know. Smart man. Alright, now fork over the door. Yeah, alright. Just hope I don't get in trouble for this. Don't worry about it. Just keep your mouth shut.
Yes, Sam's interested. Yeah, yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, here you go. Fork over the dough. Sure, sure. So 17, 16 <laughs> FPS average. Like I said, I'm sure that at least the majority of those who have a laptop with Intel Celeron will find this kind of performance to be acceptable. Also, I would have liked to deliver all of the gas stamps in one run, however then the recordings would become too long, so I'll have to end it here. Now let's test it at 640x480. Wow, 41 FPS when looking at the sky. Now it's running even better, we are actually touching the 20s more often, this is good, sure it still drops into the 10s, but in a open world game that, like I said, is kinda poorly optimized, with this kind of hardware, you can't ask for a lot, by the way, this is actually running better than F1 2010, that's right, F1 2010 is so broken, that Mafia 2, with much better graphics even with these settings, actually runs better than it, that's just crazy, but in terms of how Mafia 2 really compares, when it comes out to performance on my N2840 laptop, I would say, similarly to GTA 4 and Sleeping Dogs, Wow, that was sad. Listen, I got these extra gas stamps. You want them? They're yours. Cheap. Yeah, alright. I'm good with that. Alright, here you go. And keep your mouth shut about this, alright? Sure thing, buddy. It'll be our secret. It better be.
I'm not ending this run without some nice drifting. There we go, now that's some good work, so, yeah, Mafia 2 actually runs okay on the Intel Celeron N2840 and Intel HD graphics bay trail, like I said earlier, during the first few minutes after the game loads, you will see some stuttering, so just wait around 5 minutes, and the game will run smoothly, I think that's all I have to say in this video, thanks for watching, until the next one, it's a goodbye.